We want you to meet someone special, Mariah Bryant. She dreamt of serving her country in the Army, but those dreams were dashed when she found out that she has an eye disease that could lead to blindness. All right, now working her way through nursing school, she heard about a surgery that could save her sight. She, however, just could not afford it. Joining us right now to share more of this story is Mariah Bryant herself. Hey, Mariah. Hi. How are you? Great to Good, have thanks. you here. So tell us about this disease and how it's affecting you. Okay, well, um, keratoconus is a degenerating eye disease. Basically, um, over time, you lose your vision until you go completely blind. Um, the thing that I've been dealing with now is, like, I can't drive anymore. I can't do sports the way I want to anymore mm. because I the lights start to hurt you eventually, mm. and then it blinds you. The disease is basically kind of like looking into a light and then looking away and you still see that halo, yes. that's basically what my life is every day. Well, and your life plan was altered because of this. You went in, you passed all the other elements of the physical exam mm -hmm. when you wanted to finish up high school and sign up for the Army. Yes. And when you found out because of this eye disease that you couldn't do that, how did you feel? Horrible. You know, but I had a backup plan to go to school. Is there an operation that would fix it or is this incurable? Um, there is an operation that fix it. Um, it's uh, Dr. Brian Boxer Walsher. On the other hand, if um, I went to an ophthalmologist and they would just give me hard contacts and they would charge me $100,000 after I wait until my vision is bad enough to have a cornea transplant. So Does either way. like a viable option? Yes. It is not. Either way, you're looking at some pretty hefty bills there. We, yeah. You mentioned a physician. Um, Dr. Boxer Walkler, and we actually want to bring him in right now because we heard your story and, and we love the fact that there is someone out there who does exactly this to help. He's actually in Los Angeles right now joining us. Up early, doctor. <laughs> I know this, but I'm sure it's more than <laughs> worth it on your end. Uh, I want to know a little bit more about the condition that Mariah has here. How serious is it? How extensive is the surgery? And how expensive is it? Keratoconus is a degenerative disease of the cornea part of the eye, which is like the outer windshield of, a, of the car, essentially. Sure. And what's happening here is that the collagen is weak. That structurally holds the cornea in its shape, and it's bulging out uncontrollably, like a hernia that's bulging. So with but that here, it's causing, a tremendous, it's causing a tremendous amount of distortions, as Mariah described. So you got about a, so you, so it's about a 40-minute surgery, I understand, correct? Well, the procedures that could help Mariah are two in particular. One is called the Holcomb C3R. It's a strengthening procedure that stops the keratoconus from degenerating and holds it mm. stable and is successful in 99.3% of people. Yes. And we use vitamins and light. And the second procedure are little implants called intacts that we place under the surface that help push that bulging backwards. You know, doctor, I'm watching Mariah check out how that <laughs> surgery could happen. I know you have a very big announcement for her today. What is that? Well, Mariah, a donor who wishes to remain anonymous has stepped forward and agreed to cover the cost of your procedures and your travel out here to Los Angeles. So after the show this morning, you're going to be boarding a plane. You're going to be flying out here to Los Angeles to my office in Beverly Hills. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing your procedures. And by the end of the day tomorrow, your journey will have come to an end. And this weight that's been on your shoulders will be gone. Thank you so much. What's that mean to you? It means the world. I get to start my life over. It's a chance. All right, you're in a situation where this is how you read. And knowing that it's going to get worse, and now this procedure is going to happen. This is, this is amazing. This is a blessing. I prayed about it. And Dr. Brian knows, you know, what we go through. It's something that, you know, no one can ever imagine. Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler, is this why you got into medicine? This is why I became a doctor, is to help people. And I, I do as much as I can. And uh, Mariah raised her hand. She wanted to join the military, serve our country. But because of an outdated military policy, she was turned down. And that moved the family of uh, the donor who's involved in this. And it moved me, too.
Yeah, well, your kindness and, and your patient's kindness is crystal clear from our end. Right. Doctor, we can't thank you enough. And Mariah, we're so happy to just I'm see I'm so this happy. Now you got to do us a favor, ready? though. <laughs> Same outfits. When you, after the same everything, we bring you up, doctor, we wake you up early again and you tell us how everything went, okay? Definitely. I'd be happy to, I'd be happy to. Uh, that's a great thing you did and congratulations to the synonymous donor. Unbelievable that uh, oh, you she would Oh, thank you do. to whoever that was that um, donated. <laughs> yeah, I can you. tell you're in uh, shock right now. And the we'll Army's gonna uh, get a heck of a recruit. They sure are. You gonna give it a try? I am okay. gonna give it a try. Wow, All right. Mariah. Thanks for being with us, Doctor. Thank you for your kindness and your patient's kindness. And we can't My wait pleasure. to see how the success right. of this turns out. You both made a lot of people's mornings, including ours. Thanks so much. We brought you the story of Mariah Bryant. She dreamed of joining the Army, but couldn't due to an eye disease that could lead to blindness. The surgery would save her sight, but she couldn't afford it until she got some life-changing news right here on Fox & Friends. Well, Mariah, a donor who wishes to remain anonymous has stepped forward and agreed to cover the cost of your procedures. It means the world. I get to start my life over. Wow. Uh, the next day, she got that surgery, went out to Los Angeles, and got her sight back. Not a thing seen here. Mariah and Dr. Brian Boxer-Walker join us right now to tell us how it went. We saw it, we see it together, and I see you both are smiling, so I imagine good news. Uh, Mariah, how did it go? It went awesome. I didn't feel anything the whole time. Um, I see everything. I have no more halos, and I'm excited to get out and drive at night and start my life over. Absolutely. You know, we're looking at that video that we came in with, and I believe you're saying this is crazy. What was it like to see in that moment, Mariah? It was awesome to open my eyes and see my, my little cousin and actually see her face expression and see her eyebrows and, and everything in detail. It's kind of like you know, seeing my cousin for the first time in a long time. Doctor, how does that make you? I'm really humbled by this type of experience because helping people lift this burden off their shoulders is, and get their normal lives back, it's really the reason why I became a doctor in the first place. Mm -hmm. Mariah, earlier we told your story and you had plans to try to join the Army and it was actually through that physical that you found out that you had this eye condition um, which required this surgery to be fixed. Now, th those dreams were sidetracked for a while. Now that you can see with this gift of sight, what's your plan? Well, I'm going to give it one more shot to see if I can actually um, join the military. Um, if not, then I'm just um, going to finish school and um, go from there. Right. Uh, so that's great. Uh, the and bottom I'm, I'm definitely going to help other people. Uh, I'm sure. And talk to a uh, doctor. Talk about other people to get into the to get that surgery, to get that equipment, to have this cutting edge uh, procedure done. It needs money. The money was not there. Mariah needed someone to step up, and someone did. They want to stay anonymous right now. But can you tell us and tell the audience uh, anything about them and how they felt uh, about hearing that the the surgery went well with Mariah? The donor has a very strong connection to helping people who have keratoconus, which is Mariah's condition. And I can tell you that the donor saw her keratoconus procedures uh, from our reports and the video that we took and is very excited because they want to be able to help somebody like Mariah, who's such a hardworking and well-deserving young woman who has so much of her life ahead of her to be able to now realize her dreams and that's why they were able to make that donation anonymously Absolutely. to help her have the Holcomb C3R and the Intax procedures and they are so excited oh, for how this has really transformed Mariah's life and given her her life back. Absolutely. Mariah, what do you say to your donors who gave you this gift of sight? What's your message? God bless you and thank you so much. You know, you did a lot for me. The other day on the, on the show, I couldn't even um, see the camera. 
And uh, today, I, I'm able to look at the camera. I'm able to look into the light. Um, it's just a blessing, and and you're going to be blessed for this. Thank you so much. All right, and, and we were so happy to have to, to get to meet, know both of you. You did a great thing. I think our audience really appreciates it. Now, uh, Mariah, you're in Los Angeles. Go to Rodeo Drive, but whatever you do, don't look <laughs> at the price tag because you'll never buy anything <laughs> if you do. Thanks so much for joining us today. So happy for you, Doctor. Thank you, Mariah. You're welcome. I have I have one little surprise. I have one little surprise for Mariah. Our little boxer dog, Cornelius's cousin, Iris, who you oh. held in the surgery room. Yes, this is exactly who I held in the surgery room. Oh. His little cousin. <laughs> All right. Good <laughs> Thank job. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Stuffed animal. Oh, what a great moment. We're so happy for you, Mariah. <laughs> Doctor, thank you for such yeah, a great story. Wow. Uh, this is how she was reading. Like this. She, she could not see anything.